I'm Kathy, and this is gonna be the first um, video um, about our French acre, which, as you'll see, as I walk down the garden, I'm just going to let the chickens out, is pretty messy. Um, we're not gardeners. What we're doing with this much land, I don't know, but we're gradually working our way around finally after several years of not doing it trying to tidy it up a bit so I thought I'd share the experience with you um, off to do the chickens hold tight because I've got to turn this around now so you can see the garden and not me oh I know I know voila there how's that can you see look it's autumn already bloody cherry tree leaves on the floor not that we clear them up but I don't know why there's these, I mean, it, it's not autumn, it's, um, what is it, oh, it's August 6th, and I've got long trousers on, wellies, cardigan, it's so cold, there's the sheep, hello sheeps, that's the compost bin, nice view for you whilst I sort this gate out, because if I don't short, sort this gate out, the sheep will be in eating some of the stuff that I actually do take care of. That is Ivy. She's the mother. I don't know how old she is. How old are you, Ivy? And that's Ida, her daughter. Um, Ida, yeah, it's not edible. Ida is... How old are you? No, Ivy. I, oh, I don't know. Ida, the lamb, is... Oh, I think she's about six now. Look at this, look nice. Nice, see how tidy it is, look. That's our tidy garden. This is the extension lead that um, is running all the way down because um, I bought a shredder. We bought a shredder for my birthday because that's what women like, isn't it? No jewellery and makeup for me. I think that's probably our favourite bit is the bamboo, look. I love it. I know people have got a thing about, I'm going to get wet now, it's bloody raining. A thing about bamboo, but we just love it. And when we bought it, we didn't buy it, we dug it up from a friend's garden. A French couple we've known since, well, before we were here. And it was about the size of that amount of bamboo plant. I mean, it wasn't as tall as this. And that was about, I don't know, we've been here 16 years. So it was about... 14 years ago, 14, 13 years ago, and now look at it, it's absolutely amazing, and I love it. So, here we are, see how messy it is, and um, sheep are sheltering under the chestnut tree, one of the only remaining chestnuts tree. When we moved here, there was a lovely chestnut tree just over here best chestnuts but it just died so as you can see we've got quite a lot of shredding to do um, we've recently a couple of days ago we had some look at that hedge Ludo did that hedge Ludo does our hedge normally once a year but um, it got left because of Covid so he didn't do it but now look at it so pleased with it that tree needs sorting out over there. That's an old cherry tree. This is also an old cherry tree. There's lots of sorting to do. But anyway, shredding for us to do because we had someone in clearing what used to be when we first... Well, it actually wasn't when we got here. It had already overgrown, but we reinstated it. Was the potager vegetable plot. And you can see it's not much of a vegetable plot now. So we're doing some major... We're not. Someone is doing some major clearing. But the Bramley apple tree is quite happy about that. Nice and open behind it. Whereas before, it had this walnut. This is a walnut. Walnut trees grow like weeds. We're forever having to... This obviously didn't get sorted but you need to get them out quite quickly otherwise they just take over. I've had some brambles off the tree and I'll have some more. 
but it's quite nice for bramlies because you don't need to harvest them all in one go. More shredding. That is the quince tree. I think that was the quince tree that's, that's just dying. So he's done some deep pollarding. That is, oh God, we kept forgetting the name of it. What is that? Is it going to come back to me? They're all in flower at the moment. Hibiscus. So that that had just grown stupidly. So that's going to look lovely in a year or two. And I'll be able to see the flowers. I've not been able to see them because it's just been so overgrown. If you're getting bored, turn off. Nobody has to watch this against their will. Um, right, OK, let's go and find the chickens. Over here in this clump was the base of a pram, an old, old pram, rusted with tree growing through it. Everywhere here in this garden you'll find things that aren't meant to be. That concrete structure is an old water couve, couve O, I think that's how you say it, which the thing on top collects water and there's water, it's probably full of water, but around the other side, which you won't be able to see because it's still really messy around here, there is a tap. I'm good at falling over, so if I fall over, will you let someone know? There's a tap. Look, look how low it is. You're not going to fill a watering can from that, are you? For goodness sake. We did used to attach a hose, a drip hose to it, but it's mad. There's my um, shredder. But when the weather clears up later, I'll um, shred some more. I'm going to turn this off now and then start again because my phone's crap. And it will probably think, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. So, gonna, no, I'm not going to do that because I was coming to let the chickens out. And you'll be thinking, oh, great, we're going to miss that, are we, the chickens? Wisteria, beautiful wisteria, best, best wisteria, and it's down here at headquarters, which, as you can see, is lovely, nice and tidy, full of S-H-I-T. Nice new gate, though, that Mark made. Right, here we go. Look, that, we're going to clear this out. God. We used to use this as a an extra run. And we will be using it if we go away. Hello, girls. Are you ready? Huh? Oh. Caught my cardigan on the fence. Hello. Good morning. Zaba. They do this, they squat. And I expect a cockerel to get on them. There isn't a cockerel. That was me. Really messy in here. Somebody's been in there trying to lay... They lay they're mad where they lay their eggs. If you put them in a nest box, they won't lay in it. So um, They're not allowed out at the moment. This is as far as they go because we lost one on the main road last week. So until we can um, put a fence up along that long hedge. OK, see you later. I'll let them out later. Um, they're in. They're used to being in now. But it's a shame. Hold on. OK. Enough. No, nothing for you. And you're not going in and they're not coming out. OK? I'm going in. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed a brief um, explore. I'm sure there'll be more. But as I say, don't feel obligated to watch. Ow. Brambles. OK. A plus.